50 years old, you decide you want to be with a woman now. Been with a man all your life. Now all of a sudden, I was I was living a lie for all my life. Get the hell out of here, man. No, you got seduced by wicked America and Babylon. That's right. You got seduced, man, by these demons and spirits that's out here. And you fell for it. Because there's nothing but a seducing spirit out here. Now they got something called dude sex. Oh. Right? They got something called dude sex where it's, it's uh, suburban white boys, suburban white boys that say that they're straight. They say they're straight. They got girlfriends, wives, whatever, but they secretly meet with men on a weekend and have sexual encounters with them. Oh, abomination. No. Yeah, it's abomination, abomination. man. Oh, no. They call it dude sex. What the hell is that, man? There is no dude sex. There's dude and gal sex. There's husband and wife sex, but there's no dude sex. But that's what this society is about, man. Yeah. No, I, I read the article, man. They secretly go on Craigslist and they got a code. They uh they put M for M. They said man, man for man. Oh no. Right, man looking for man. And they meet up, yeah. Somebody sent me the article on Facebook. I I don't make this stuff up. I don't even look for this stuff. Right, right. Somebody, right. you know, you know Israel, man. Israel got all these wild articles, man. Media take out all this stuff, man. So somebody sent me the article. Yo, yo, priest of God, check this out. Disgusting, man. So I read the article. Uh, what the hell? I read half of the article. I couldn't even finish it, man. Dude sex. What the hell is wrong with America, man? You're an abomination and you're going to burn with nuclear fire. That's right. You're going to burn with nuclear fire. That's why there's floods in California. That's why uh, the, the dams are questioned. Out in California, they had to evacuate over 200,000 people because they said if that dam breaks and those people are there, they finished. That's the Lord doing that, man. Right. That's why your cop got beat up in California by some young Mexicans and he had to pull his gun out and let off. Don't, right? Don't That's Jake, your, don't Jake that knocked Right, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, um, Instacar and Jake, yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's why America, that's why you got a Nazi in the White House. Right? right? You got a damn Nazi in the White House. Give me the sign. All right, give me the sign and the staples back. Give it back to me with, with uh, Trump. The Iceman coming. Right? You got a damn Nazi skinhead damn demon in the in the White House. That's why all that is happening to you, America. That's the Lord doing that. Look at that demon, man. Look at the look on his face. Right? Get that. We was bringing this out yesterday, too. Get that, man. Look at that look on his face. Right? Yeah, look at that look on his face, man. The ice men cometh. That man is a demon. That's what you got, man. That's why the Lord is judging America all over. That's why them two little white girls got slaughtered in Indiana by a white man. Right? And now you all over CNN. And what? You're looking for a killer. A little black girl, a little, little black boy dies. You don't give a damn. Right. You don't care about us. You forsake us. But the Lord said what? You're going to be hated of all people, man. Right, right. It said it and tell you in Leviticus, the 26th chapter, that they that hate you shall reign over you. Yep. Right? right? So when a little uh, black child or Hispanic or Native American, like, like on the reservations, man, the white men be killing a lot of Native American children. And a lot of times that don't even make it to the news media. That don't even make it to the news media. They said in California, the police kill more Mexicans than they kill blacks. They don't even make it to the news media. That's right. Because he's slaughtering our people all over the place. Right. And the Lord is allowing that to happen because you black, Hispanic, Native American, and Seminole Indians, you're under a divine curse. And you say, well, if God love us, why would he curse us? Because you were disobedient and rebellious to his laws. That's right. And you're still disobedient and rebellious to his laws. That's what the Lord said he sent us forth unto a disobedient and gainsaying people. And that's why the ice men coming from coast to coast, from California to New York City, throwing out the Mexicans, throwing out the West Indians, right on, on Eastern Parkway, pulling over damn dollar vans. <laughs> so you thought it was just going to be the Mexicans, man. You thought it was just going to be the so-called Mexicans. They on Eastern Parkway in New York City pulling over dollar vans. Wicked. Right? You and Tika Rimson. Rimson, you and Tika. No, Donald Trump said no. Trinidad, Jamaica. Trinidad, Jamaica, Jamaica. Go back. You taking your ass back, man. Yeah, man. And a lot of you niggas and Hispanics are worried, man. A lot of you so-called West Indians, you're sending uh, emails. You're sending the emails and you're sending uh, uh, warnings to each other. You're all nervous and scared. Why is that? Because the Lord said he's going to put fear on man in the last days. 
the Lord was going to bring the spirit of fear in this society in the last days. Right? But we as a servant to the Lord, right? We as a servant to the Lord, we as a servant to the Lord, what, what is our job to do? Our job is to teach the people and have no fear. Right? Give me that in 2 Timothy 1 and 7. Give me uh, 2 Timothy 1 and 7. We don't give a damn if the ice men come in. Right? We don't care. Uh, because according to the Bible, if you're doing the will of the Lord, you are protected. What's your nationality, brother? Nationality. So-called African-American? Yeah, you can say that. All right, so according to the Bible, you're from the tribe of Judah of the nation of Israel. Get a brother a flight. Right, you're from the tribe of Judah. Oh, yeah. Right, so according to the Bible, the black man has to come back to his true identity and nationality. Not to take away from anything, but we are not African. We came from Africa as slaves, and we lived in America, but we are the real Hebrews. So you got the right idea with your ring, you know what I'm saying? Right, but a lot of times we just want to hold on to that Africa, because we feel that's the motherland, that's where the roots is at. But it's really, we are the Israelites, brother. The so-called black man here in America, you came here on slave ships. And hell, if it's left up to Donald Trump, you're going to tell niggas to get out. Right? right? <laughs> Y'all came on slave ships, go back to Africa. Didn't he say something about he'll pay? Yeah. Here goes the lead. Yeah. One way flight. Yeah, one way flight, man. Right, you get no one way flight to Africa. Right, that devil trying to throw everybody out. Ain't no white man a trip, man. He's a damn trip, man. He want to throw everybody out, but yet he stole a damn land. Yeah. Right. He raped, robbed, and murdered and stole this land, but yet he want to try to throw everybody out. Bring it He's out. the Bring devil it that the Bible speaks of, man. So read on, brother. Read. It's the book of Second uh, Timothy. Verse one, chapter one, verse six. Of uh, one and seven. Second Timothy is one and seven. Yeah. Uh, Good. For the Most High have not given us the spirit of fear. The Lord said He didn't give us the spirit of fear. See, when a black man, when a so-called black or Hispanic man, when he fears no. the white uh, man, when he fears the government, when he fears what this society can do to him, you know why? Because he don't have the spirit of the Lord. That's the problem with the so-called black man in America. You a damn coward because you don't have God's spirit in you. That's the problem, man. You you know how to kill and murder and fight each other, but when it comes to fighting the true enemy, you a damn coward. And you know why you don't have you a coward? Because you don't have the spirit of the Lord with you. That's right. Right? David had the spirit of the Lord. Bring it out. Right? Moses had the spirit of the Lord. What happened when Moses found out who he really was? He took an Egyptian and slew him and buried him at the same time. But when he saw him smiting his brother, a fellow Hebrew, Moses killed that damn Egyptian. He right. killed that Egyptian and buried him in the sand. And what happened? A gay saying Negro said to Moses, what, you going to kill me like you did the Egyptian? Right, right, right. right. <laughs> but it was two brothers fighting against each other. And Moses said, yo, why y'all strive with each other? But look at a black man. A black man has become Satan in America. Look at this. Right? Just the devil's going oh, right wow. The black man has become Satan in America. The man just said, just give it up. I'm just going to be the devil too, man. Yeah, right? What the hell is wrong with our people, man? Yeah, right? Destroyed for a lack of knowledge. Yeah. Man. The man just said, I'm just going to become Satan, man. The hell with it. But anyway, back to the fact of the matter. Read that, brother. Read. For the most high have given... Have okay. not given us the spirit of fear. So the Lord said he haven't given us the spirit of fear. Come on. But of power. But of power, go ahead. And of love. And of love, go ahead. And of sound a sound mind. And of a sound mind. So we did not, the Lord didn't give us the spirit of fear. He gave us power, love, and a sound mind. So what happens when you have the spirit of fear? When you have the spirit of fear, obviously that means you're not dealing with the most high. You're not dealing with his laws. You don't have that spirit in you. Because the scriptures tell you, give me that matter of fact, uh, St. John 6, 63. The spirit is not in you when you have fear, man. You're not supposed to have no fear. But yet and still, you so-called black man, you're afraid of your own damn shadow. But yet you're so tough in that, uh, and whatever it comes to your own people. But when it comes to fighting and standing up, Hell, a lot of we've had brothers admit to us, man. I can't, I couldn't stand out there like y'all, man. Y'all some bold brothers, man. Y'all brothers are bold, man. Now, number one, the spirit got to be with you. But a lot of times, uh, the black and Hispanic man, they're so weak and broken down and so fearful of the enemy that they feel they don't even have the uh, uh, courage to stand up and even speak out about what's going on. That's right. That's right. They don't even have the courage to say something, man. Damn. Why is that? Because you are, you're fearful and you're in America. 
Right, you're in America, you're huh? fearful, you've been destroyed. The so-called white men took your courage and all he did was say, look, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, uh, only thing you're going to be left with is the ability to fight and go against your own people. That's why we have so much self-hatred. So we are the real Jews and Israelites, brother. We got to return back as a nation of people, repent and keep these laws. Because America's headed for a race war. America's headed, headed for mass deportations. America's headed for martial law. America's headed for anarchy and chaos. America's headed for financial destruction. This place going down, man. So you got to learn, brother, you know, most how willing. We just scratching the surface, but we're going to be out here in Atlanta as much as we can. You know, some of us brothers are from out of town, but we got brothers down here. We're going to be out here teaching the gospel, hopefully building and, and, and you know, bringing some souls back here in the city of Atlanta, man. That's right. To bring our people back, man, so we can come back to these laws. It's bad down here in Atlanta, man. I be watching the first 48 and all that. They be out here murdering each other, man. Like I said, I be watching these documentaries on uh, uh, Fulton County.